a, a big challenge for us. We lost a lot of guys from our team last year. We had a little bit of an older group. A lot of guys moved on to college hockey, which is a great thing for us. Uh, so it gives an opportunity to, uh, to bring some new guys in through the draft and tender process, as well as an opportunity for the guys who were here last year to get an increased role. And that's their uh, goal throughout the summer as we go into training camp. Um, you know, so obviously for us, um, we want to make sure we built on what we did last year. We had a, a relatively decent season, but we have to have to be better. We want to advance further in the playoffs. Uh, we won our first series last year, then we, we fell short in the division finals. So you know, our ultimate goal is to get to the Robertson Cup. Um, but throughout the year, we want to be a, a team that's very strong every night, uh, consistent, and have our guys getting better. And then, you know, hopefully uh, get as many Division I uh, commitments as we can. You know, it, uh, last year with only four teams in the division, it was uh, such a battle every night. You play everybody 16 times, and then you go into the playoffs and you see them again. So it was a war last year, there's no question. You know, now you add Northeast Generals into the mix, and, you know, it's a fifth team, so we don't play everybody quite as much. But um, I, I think it's going to be a, a tough, uh, tough road ahead of us, obviously. Um, great travel in this division, and it, it makes for some great rivalries. So, you know, Aston won the division last year. I imagine them being tough again. Um, you know, we have a few new coaches in the division too, so things might change a little bit just based upon team styles, things like that. Um, you know, but first and foremost, we know that uh, the division is going to be a battle and, and we're looking forward to it. You know, uh, we want to improve on what we did last year. Uh, the biggest thing for us is to, you know, right out of the gate, we want to really gel as a team. We want to have great uh, team team culture here. Um, like I said, uh, we have a lot of new guys coming in, so it's going to be important for us as a coaching staff to build that camaraderie right away. You know, we're going to be on the road quite a bit. We have some uh, remodeling being done at the War Memorial, so we play the first few months on the road. Uh, we have some big, long trips with Blaine uh, and, and the Alaska trip. So it's going to be an opportunity for us to uh, become close as a team because there's no other choice, you know, and, and we want to make sure that we start out of the gates uh, gelling well. Because think if a team's getting along very well and has a close knit group, that's going to help us in the long run pick up extra points and, and really battle for each other. So, you know, our goals this year, obviously, uh, first uh, to get better as a team, and then uh, you know to to win the division, get guys to college, and, and go from there. I think it speaks volumes, you know, of the opportunity this league can present to players. You know, you start and uh, it goes, it's a 24-7 uh, job for us as coaches to promote these players to colleges and, you know, there's so many uh, different ways that it happens, you know, and, and, and we've seen that firsthand here in Johnstown uh, with guys and, and there's, there's nothing that uh, is more satisfying than to see these kids reach their dreams and I think this league has done an exceptional job uh, of promoting their players. Uh, I think it speaks to the dedication of, of the staff throughout the, every team in this league and the league itself and the opportunities they provide with the events they put on and um, you know I think it's just only going to grow. The North American Hockey League is a, is a great league for players to be in and um, like I said I think, I think the numbers only continue to grow every year as we continue to get great players. There's really uh, <laughs> Not much that you can say that uh, is bad about it. You know, there's uh, it's a, it's a unbelievable opportunity right out of the gates to have every Division One, every Division Three, every NHL scout in the building at once. You know, and as a player, the maximum exposure you get there, that's all you can really ask for. And it's early in the season. Uh, guys are fresh. Guys are hungry. Guys are excited. And um, it, the event, I, it'll be my fifth year going to the event this year. I was, uh, you know, the assistant coach for a couple of years and now as a head coach. And um, it, it's, it takes on a whole new level every year. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it this year. It, it's, it's just an incredible event and um, it's a great opportunity for our league. I mean, I think there's, uh, there's no secrets that uh, the fans of Johnstown are, uh, are very passionate. Um, you know, we won Hockeyville USA last year, and I think that showed um, in, in the support that we have here. And, and this town is a hockey town, there's no question, and uh, our players are, are pretty well uh, received here. So playing in front of our crowd, you know, we had the second best attendance in the league last year. Um, you know, we average about 3,000 fans a game, and it, it gets rowdy, and they're passionate, and they believe in this team, and, you know, they're, they're critical because they can be, because they're, you know, they're, they're, they're hockey is a very, very important part of their, uh, their community. And, um, you know, so it's a challenge for our players to, to live up to it, but it's a challenge that we welcome because the amount of passion and the following we have here uh, is so special. And, you know, I, the, the playing at home here at the War Memorial with the history of the building and all the character it has, it, uh, it adds a special meaning to the players for sure. 
I think it's a whole lot of things. You know, I think it's the opportunity uh, that it presents itself, like we talked about before, with the amount of college commitments they have. I mean, it's uh, it continues to grow every year. It's it's a huge number. Um, it's uh, a league that you know there, there's no real compensation to, to play in it um, for the players, which which obviously um, speaks to a, a new level. There's a there's a brand they have that uh, really markets itself well, and, it, and it's a it's a lead that spreads across the country. You know, so there's a lot of unique opportunities just just based off of that with travel the players get to, to get to partake in. You know, you can go obviously as far east as, as us in Boston and our division, then you can go all the way out to Alaska, down south to Texas, up north in Minnesota and Dakotas. Now the league is widespread and there's just a lot of opportunity and I, and I think, you know, there's a lot of other intangibles that sometimes maybe don't get always mentioned with uh, great billet families and, and different things like that to just kind of put the whole uh, whole collaboration on the league together and you know obviously we do a great job with our Robertson Cup championship and the event that has and, and the league continues to grow the amount of exposure it has to college scouts, NHL scouts, the draft numbers are going up every year and, and I think it's just going to continue to grow because uh, players across the world understand that this is a league that is going to get them to the next level and um, you know us as coaches are the ones that aid in that process and um, I, I just think the, the opportunity that this league provides to young men um, is, is, is very strong. You know, for us, I think uh, going into camp with a lot of the new faces we have, I, th I think we drafted well, we tendered well, we recruited free agents well. So we're going to build that throughout camp. You know, we have obviously some some staples that we want, the way we want to play. You know, we want to make sure guys are are hungry every night. They're coming to the rink excited to come to the rink to learn, to have fun, to, to give everything they have to us every night, playing 200 feet, being team players, um, being very hard to play against, and being, at the same time, being a very skilled team, you know, making plays and, and combining skills skill and, and, and toughness and, and to put it all together and, and that's the you know the minimum requirements we have in, in this group is you have to be a 200 foot player you have to be a team first player and you, know, you have to give us your all every single day in practice off the ice in games and then from there you know when we put everything together we mix the pieces of the puzzle together I think our identity will start to shine through and, and for our team um, you know with the amount of games we have on the road this year to start uh, we're gonna have to build it quickly and we're gonna have to maintain it throughout uh, to get through the grind of the road games before we can get home and, and start playing in front of our fans. But it's a challenge that uh, I'm looking forward to and I can't wait to get everything going.